final game of the spring season, the Tampa Bay Rowdies grabbed their first win at Al Lang Stadium with a 4-0 victory over the Fort Lauderdale Strikers. Keith Savage scored two goals in the first half. Here are the post-game comments. This is definitely one of the biggest events of our year. Lots of fans. It's fun. Um, and there was a lot of, um, uh, just a lot of support, and it's always good to win in front of them. I haven't been there all year, really, right in front of goal. I just kind of hit it. Uh, great pass from Georgia. I peeled off, and he played outside the right ball in tight space. Uh, it was perfect. You know, I just ran in and hit it. I just got up, and I headed it. Uh, you know, it was kind of a scramble, and, you know, I don't think it would have gone in if Frankie, either he either got a touch or he deflected or he got in the way. And it was, I mean, he distracted the guy because the guy looked like he was just going to clear it off the line. Uh, and if Frankie wasn't there, then the guy kind of, I don't know how it went in. It was a miracle, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. We were uh, struggling there in the second half a little bit, keeping possession of the ball, and it was getting lumped up to our forwards' heads a lot. And uh, that's not me and Georgie's strength, although on a goal, um, Georgie was able to get free of his marker on a long ball. And two guys went to him. I saw the guy that was marking me kind of drifted over there. So all I had to do was stay on side, and Georgie just flicked on a great ball. And I took a couple of touches and got our control and just had to put it in the side netting. And you don't want to go into the second part of the season not having won a home game. Um, that's when doubt starts creeping in your mind, like what's going on after, especially after last year when we couldn't be beat here. So um, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, we weren't we weren't able to get you know a, a starting eleven in, in a rotation. You know we weren't able to get a starting eleven for two, three, four, five games in a row. It was always a different starting eleven, and that definitely plays a a part in the inconsistencies that your team's going to have. Um, I thought the last few games we were able to get a pretty secure starting 11. Guys know who's coming in or who's going to be in there. So um, I think that calms nerves a little bit, and your guys are used to starting and used to going the full 90. So, um, you know, the rivalry is important. Uh, the fans love the rivalry. The players love the rivalry. It's an in-state um, team that we're playing against, so it's important. We want a, a leg up on them. So, you know, it's good. 4 0, good, good result. It's capped a, a wonderful day, you know, a historical day for everyone in America, but also a wonderful day for the Rowdies and, and our great supporters. You know, if there's anything that I take from this game, is the fact that we were able to give them a victory in the first half of the season because them supporters out there, they've sung and they've cheered in every game, irrespective of how we're doing and what the score's been at the time. And they must be very disappointed when we've lost games or drawn games we should have won, but they've never let go of, of the side and they've always given their best as that 12th man. So I'm very, very happy today that we were able to give them something to cheer about at last at home to get those three points in the manner of how we've done so too. And the fact that it is the 4th of July is special um, as yeah. well. We've trained in conditions akin to this. You know, we've trained in extreme conditions in terms of heat um, and and hard pitches and various different conditions on fields and these guys always put their best foot forward they you know they're a bunch that are so committed to trying to win games and try to do the right thing and that's collectively one through to 23 so you know as, as a coach what I can ever ask of them is to come with that head on them all the time and that match day head on them and today they got their rewards as well for the level of performance they have been producing to go away scoring four goals and to keep a clean sheet have the fans there cheering and being happy going away happy I'm hoping now We've had two wins in a row the last couple of games. It's a shame the break is coming now in, in, in respect of you have to start not from scratch, but we have to start all over again, and everyone starts from zero. But, you know, we show now where our standards can be and where we can improve on the standards we've set recently, and I will be demanding from them to see if they can improve in the second half. The Rowdies will be back in action on August 3rd as they travel to San Antonio to face the Scorpions. For RowdySoccer.com, I'm Patty McDonald.